Welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at this new little print I've just picked up. Now, this is the Homer's Stroke TiVo Tarantula Pro. This is the new version. So I've had this printer running now for a couple of weeks and it is absolutely fantastic. I haven't had any issues at all. This works really, really well. Let's take it for a slightly closer look. And we've got nothing extravagant, there's no filament detection or anything like that. But for a sort of an entry level printer, this works out a bit cheaper than the Ender 3. And I'd say it's a hell of a lot better than the Ender 3. Yes, all the orange bits you can see everywhere, they are all plastic. It's quite a nice solid plastic though. Got quite a small screen. All the knob pair for your controls. See my giant microphone on top of the camera, casting a massive shadow over everything. So, top pair we've got their own sort of Titan type extruder. Goes down to this quite nicely designed hot end. Obviously, got the hot end cooling fan, and we have blowers on both sides. This one is currently set up to a single rod, but you do actually have the option to convert it to dual rod. I've actually ordered the upgrade part, so when that comes, we'll get that installed and do another little video. Uh, we have obviously got a heated build plate, nice heated build plate, had no problems with adhesion at all. Just have a look. Now this printer isn't good for, it won't print ABS, because for one the bed doesn't get hot enough. It'll print everything else. I mean I've just been printing with PLA, um, so let's show you. Now this machine doesn't actually come with a spool holder, I mean currently move these bits out of the way. Currently I'm just using just a spool holder. On the card that comes with the printer though it does include a spool holder you can print. That was the only thing that was on the card and the come my computer for some strange reason wouldn't even read the card so I'm quite sure what happened there. But I have done a few prints with this so at the minute I'm in the process of printing Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter. Let me just turn myself, get some slightly better lighting for you. There we go. Now you can see the detailing on this part of the wing. Print has come out incredibly clean. I haven't done anything to this apart from remove the brim off the bottom of it. see the print quality is really really good this is sort of even textured so that came out incredibly well and then I also printed also I didn't print this all in one piece this was printed in several parts speeder from Star Wars speed bike and also the quality of this it's also really, really good as well. Hang on guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this microphone off the top of this camera. Hang on. All right, so hopefully you can still hear me. I can't remove the microphone off the top, casting too much of a shadow over everything. So yeah, you see we printed this speeder. Like I said, it wasn't printed all in one. It's printed in several parts. But as you can see, my camera would focus, there we go. This came out incredibly well. Can't fault this printer, and I can't rate it highly enough. Um, this was bought from Banggood. I think it retails around about 170 mark. Um, obviously came from China, and it got to me within about a week. So I can't complain about that. So let's just go through a few of the specs. 
Right, now build volume wise we have 235, 235 by 250. So nice decent size build area. You can build nor near enough anything you want. I say uh, this wing is quite a fair size. I still had a little bit more room to go. So yeah. Build area wise we haven't got any issues there. Um, power supply 24 volt 8.5 amp 200 watt power supply. So we've got plenty of power. Um, nozzle temperature will range from 180 to 240. But the bed will only go up to 70 degrees, so not hot enough for ABS. Um, they will say it will quite happily print with PLA, flexible PLA, wood, PVA, uh, hips. So, you know, now it prints with everything you need, but I mean, if you want to print with ABS, then obviously this, is the, this machine is not for you. Now, the other thing you need to realize about this machine is it does come completely in bits. I mean everything. The only two things that are assembled on this machine is the hot end and obviously the uh, power supply and board at the back here. Those are the only two things on this whole machine that are actually assembled. Everything else you have to put together yourself and these guys, as helpful as they are, they don't even supply you with an instruction book. So, I mean, if you're new to 3D printing, you are going to find this a bit of a mission. But obviously, if you've been 3D printing for a while, then you obviously know you'll have a rough idea of how this goes together. Um, they have got a um, tutorial on their YouTube channel, but that is about as much use as an Astro on a motorbike because they don't show you half of the stuff. So, nah, just keep that in mind, guys. If you buy this machine, you are going to have to assemble everything. But build quality wise, absolutely fantastic. Nothing was bent, nothing was out of shape. I'm having no problems with binding. Um, nothing was twisted. Uh, nothing arrived broken. Um, we have got a nice, I don't know if that'll pick it up, but we have got an insulated build plate. Um, yeah guys, absolutely fantastic machine. Like I say, everything you see is orange, is plastic. So the important structural parts are obviously all metal, but everything else is plastic. So that's obviously where they can keep the cost down. But as an entry level printer goes, I would say that this is actually fantastic. Brilliant, brilliant printer. Um, I have got the rest of the Devo or Homer's, sorry, range on the way. I'm waiting for them to be delivered. Um, they all have also brought out a uh, they call it an RS version of this machine, which is touch screen. It's got the dual rod, uh, dual Z rods, um, a little bit more redefined. It is a little bit more money, but it's still on pre-order at the moment. So yeah, guys, these machines are well worth a look. You wouldn't be disappointed. Uh, a little bit slow on the heat up, uh, but once it's heated up, runs really well. Oh, 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 sorry, I'm just trying to move my grip so I can get a better hold of the camera. Really, there ain't much more to sort of look at. It's just a back standard sort of printer. They are claiming there are a few upgrades coming out. Like I said, I have ordered the um, dual Z rod upgrade. They are quoting there's a laser, a laser coming for this. You can do laser engraving. And they also said it's compatible with BL Touch. I personally don't think it needs BL Touch. Let's just take you guys around the back so we can show you around the back as we fight my way through all the junk. So on the back here we just have a power supply with a power switch and then we have the two inputs. One coming from the heat bed, the other one coming from for all the stepper motors. Sorry, this one, this one here comes to the extruder. And all the rest of the wires are all neatly tucked inside this orange box and I ran out the side and up. So really haven't got much more to say about this printer. It is a fantastic machine. I mean, I've printed off a little fact sheet here, so I'm not going to sit here and read it for you. But if you guys had been looking at this and the thought, well, I don't really know if I should get it. Yes, this company have got some bad reviews for not shipping out their products. But like I say, I ordered this one from Banggood and it arrived about a week. 
And like I say, you're just going to have to assemble it. And uh, if you want to print this spool holder, you can, but I'd recommend you just getting one of these or even printing one of Thingiverse. So, yeah, that is about it. We'll just have, like I say, an SD card reader in the front, full side SD card reader, reset button if you get in a muddle. Nice, decent size bed leveling knobs. And that really is it. And this is a very basic, very basic printer. But I would say this thing knocks the socks off the Ender 3. I mean, I've had a couple of Ender 3 nows. Yeah, they're a good printer. But then I had this, and this is a great printer. So, yeah, highly recommend this machine to anybody who's looking for another printer. For like I say, this is now, has actually become my desktop printer. As you can see, we've got quite a lot going on at the moment. Some spoiler alerts. Been busy printing away. Got part of an X-Wing going on up there. Like I say, we've got quite a lot still to come. Anyway, that's it for me waffling on for now. So this is a little short video. It's my first impressions on this Homer's Tarantula Pro, and I would give it a big thumbs up. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!